this is Tara at Perennial, and today I'm gonna show you how to make your own envelope for mailing letters um, with just some simple materials that you probably already have at your house. Some of my favorite things to work with are old calendars. If you have an old atlas or old roadmaps, I love those as well. You can also use things like uh, old magazines or book pages. So let's get started. So if you happen to have some mail at your house, this is a really great place to start because that means you already have an envelope template in your home. So if you sent a birthday card or just some other mail, uh, I'm gonna show you how to deconstruct that to turn it into a template. So I've already got one side kind of stripped, but what I'm using is, you can use either a letter opener or a palette knife. That's what I'm using here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide this underneath where the glue has, has adhered these two parts of the envelope together, really nice and gently, kind of sawing as I go. And I can work my way inwards from either side. And now I've separated those. And what I have here is my envelope template, once I've done that to both sides. This was a really large envelope, um, so you're gonna need to work with something bigger, like a map, atlas, or calendar to do one like this. But if you have a really small envelope, and I'll put up a digital template uh, for this too that you can print on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, this one can also work on um, something like magazine paper or a really small map page, which is what I'm going to do it with today. So you kind of have to reorient your, the way that you think because you're gonna wanna fit this on the paper and say, hey, this doesn't fit, but you just have to change the angle a little bit, orient it differently, so that it fits on that paper really nice and then you can get a full envelope out of it. Once I have that, I can either just trace this envelope directly or I can use a piece of chipboard, which is something like a cereal box, trace this onto the cereal box and then create a template that I can keep reusing over and over. I'm just gonna trace this directly onto here. So I'm gonna grab either a pen, pencil, or marker, depending on what material you're going to be writing on. Um, I'm just gonna do a pencil because I think I can see it pretty nicely on this matte page and it's not slick. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the shape that I just drew. Um, feel free to just use scissors or if you'd like to use an X-Acto knife on a cutting mat, that will work nicely as well. So once I have my piece cut out, I'm ready to do my folds and begin assembling it. So at this stage, what I need to do is kind of look back at my template here, and I know that my envelope folds from these little notches here, from one side to the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my fold lines there. Uh, I can use a bone folder if I happen to have one so I get nice clean lines. Or if you don't have something like that at home, you can also use um, something like a, a pen that doesn't work anymore um, would be really nice. All right, I'm gonna use my ruler and go from one side of the notch to the other side and just slide my bone folder here along that line. That's gonna create a nice fold from one notch to the other. I'm gonna do that for all four sides. All right, now these are ready to be folded right where my bone folder led them to be. And I can see it's already starting to look like an envelope. One of these sides has a flat piece and the other side has a pointy piece. The pointy piece is going to be what you don't glue down because that's what you seal up at the end after you've put your letter on the inside. You're gonna glue together these three parts here at the bottom. These two side flaps are gonna fold in first and this guy's, this bottom piece is going to fold right on top of them. So we need to glue along these two side edges and I like to apply glue to these two angles rather than to the bottom piece because if I end up applying too much glue to the bottom piece and then fold it in, I might accidentally glue my envelope shut since it would stick to the inside. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply glue to these two angled sides with a piece of scrap paper or a cutting mat underneath to let that glue roll off. 
and then I'll bring everything together just like so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap chipboard, which again, this can be old food packaging, and I'm gonna use some Elmer's glue all, and I'm just gonna draw a little line along the edge here, and know that about that, that, that notch is how far this is gonna, how wide this is going to go. I'm gonna apply a line of glue, and then use my chipper glue spreader to spread that really nice and thin, which will help reduce bubbles that you get, and spread it all the way to the edge. I'll do that on the other side here as well. Now I'm ready to bring this all together. So I'm gonna flip it over, put these two sides in first, and then press this one down on top. And you're gonna need to give it a couple of seconds for this to really stick. So again, I can take my bone folder and give it a nice press. And after I put my letter or whatever inside, I can go ahead and use that same gluing method to glue this all back together. Since I have a really decorative envelope, I might also want to add a little label to the front here. So I can grab a scrap piece of white paper and stamp that with my logo, or I can write my name on it. And then I can use some decorative scissors to create a little fancy edge. And then I can glue this right on to my envelope. Thanks for watching guys and hopefully we'll see you at Perennial soon.